Good day to both of my panels, Professional Technology Muhammad Zaidi bin Muhammad Tumari and Puan Suhaila binti Mirin. And also good day to everyone who is watching this presentation video right now. Today, I will present my bachelor degree project, which titled as Development of Smart Vending Machine by Using IoT Technology. First, I will start introducing myself. My name is Ng Si K and my matrix number is B08181026 and my supervisor name is Puan Saleha Binti Muhammad Saleh. So in this presentation, I will explain starting from introduction, one session by one session and all the way until project planning stage. Introduction One of the most obvious challenges that the whole world is facing now is the global outbreak of COVID-19. The highly contagious virus has made us all very cautious of touching unnecessary things in public. One of the very good examples is having to physically touch the vending machine to complete item purchase. Hence, what is the solution? The answer is contactless vending machine. At such a time, a contactless vending machine that can avoid touch and contact will be able to provide a scope for this situation. By using the contactless vending machine, people don't need to touch the machine in order to dispense products. This consequently limits the contagiousness of infections, bacteria, and viruses. So how these contactless vending machines are able to achieve such functionalities? With features such as end-to-end -end touchless checkout, contactless payment system, and real-time stock tracking system, vending machine users are able to control vending machine without touching it, and owners are able to monitor stock without checking it physically. Next, problem statement. As previous mentioned, most of us are very cautious of hand hygiene. Therefore, come to the first point. People are wary of using cash and coin, such as change from a vending machine, as it would potentially come in touch with germs and viruses. In addition, traditional vending machines generally use cash and coin payment, and this old school purchasing method has been troubling many cashless customers as they will choose not to buy the item if they have not enough amount of cash or coin. Also, coin storage is a limiting factor, as coin handling would become an issue when the storage is full. Not to mention, cash-based vending machine only accept new and fresh notes. Furthermore, multiple sizes of cash and coin types vary from country to country and currency detection is not possible for currency that have not yet been coded or stored in vending machine database. Next, a coin-based vending machine can be easily hacked through different ways, such as pulling the coin back using a thread after a successful vend. Generally, remaining stocks of traditional vending machine can only be known by checking at the vending machine, and this kind of time-to-time -time auditing undoubtedly is a huge problem of this system. Therefore, vending machine owners need an IoT-based smart vending machine that comes with a real-time stock tracking system which constantly keeps them updated. Next, project objective. All three project objectives are stated in the slide. First, to develop a smart vending machine prototype that equipped with a commodity catcher system. Second, to design an IoT-based embedded system using Arduino, Freezing, and Proteus software. Third, to analyze the working performance of IoT-based smart vending machine and to evaluate the IoT connectivity using LoRa technology. Next, work scope. To ensure all the objectives are achieved, some of the important aspects must be considered. All five of them are listed as the slide shown. Methodology. So first of all, this is the project flowchart. As we can see, from starting until ending, we do all the tasks step by step. At the stage of stimulation, if the stimulation doesn't meet the requirements, we will repeat the circuit design and code design steps until the stimulation meet requirements. This is the project block diagram. The whole system basically separated into two parts, LoRa-based communication system and vending machine system. The LoRa-based communication system consists of LoRa transmitter unit and LoRa receiver unit. These two units are connected using dotted line. All the components that are going to use in the project are listed in the slide. For user flowchart, at the beginning, the LCD will show insert a coin or scan to pay. Once a coin or RFID card is detected, LCD will show press button or scan QR code. At this stage, 
Customer can either use their mobile phone to scan QR code and direct to a web server to control the vending machine in real time or just proceed with buttons. Once a selection is made, LCD will show the delivering product. Next, stepper motors and servo motors will run as programmed. After the motor moves back to its starting positions, the LCD will show product delivered and the program ends. For owner flowchart, there are two methods to check stock status in real time. Once the program starts, owner can choose either checking online, which is just typing specific IP address to access web server and the web server will display live stock status in real time or use LLED. For the initial results, so we have a total of 20 TTP223 touch sensors which will act as our stock sensors. Since we have 4 discharging units, so each discharging unit will have 5 stock sensors. All these stock sensors are connecting to a microcontroller which is a Arduino Mega and by using this Wi-Fi module ESP01, all the stock sensor data will upload to the web server. Also, we have a LoRa transmitter unit over here. This is our LoRa module and this is Arduino Uno. And also, we have a LoRa receiver unit over here. This is Arduino Uno, LoRa, uh, LoRa module and an OLED screen. So, once the stock stand, uh, sensor data was sent from this LoRa transmitter unit to this LoRa receiver unit, the data will display on this OLED screen. So, next one. This is our vending machine system circuits. So we have two stepper motor over here. So one stepper motor is to control the horizontal axis of the carrier and another one is for controlling the vertical axis of the carrier. We control these two stepper motors by using a motor driver F4988. And also, since these two stepper motors are using 12 foot, so we need a 12 foot power supply. But only these two stepper motors are using 12 volts. Uh, all other components are actually using 5 volts. So we need a bulk converter, uh, bulk converter to step down the voltage. And then uh, we can see that we have a main uh, microcontroller over here, which is the Arduino Mega, same as just now. Uh, actually, it's the same board. Uh, and then this is the same module as well. This is the ESP01 as mentioned before. And then this microcontroller is connecting a RFID reader to detect the RFID cards. And also we have a, a micro limit switches over here. This is, uh, these two are actually for detecting the starting position of the carrier. And then we have a IR sensor over here, which is uh, for the coin detections. And also we have four buttons here for item selections. And we have four servo motors over here. Oh, this four servo motors uh, is for uh, each uh, discharging unit. Since we have four discharging units, so we have four servo motors. And then also we have a LCD screen for display uh, displaying uh, text or instructions. So next. So by combining the previous two slides, uh, we have this uh, complete circuit diagram for our project. So the Arduino Mega Board and the uh, Wi-Fi module are actually the same uh, component. Now come to the stimulation parts. So this is our circuit stimulations. After Arduino Codes is uploading to this Arduino Mega 2560, uh, the LCD screen is actually displaying insert a coin or scan to pay. So uh, either RFID cards or coin is detected, uh, then the LCD will uh, print select your item, either item 1, 2, 3 or 4. So one of these buttons will need to activate, then the LCD screen will print delivery, and then this step motors is working. Since the button 1 is located on the top left side, so the carrier will need to go all the way up, so just now this double motor vertical double motor is running and then go all the way left since it's located here so up left now this uh, horizontal double motor is working and then next uh, this servo motor that located over here will dispatch the item 
Okay, after dispatching, then the carrier, carrier will move back uh, to the right, right hand side. So the horizontal stepper motor will run again. Then after that, going back down. So the stepper motor will run again. And then the LCD screen will print item delivered. So this is the Arduino codes. First of all, we will include all the libraries and then declare all the LCD parameters and also for parameters for the servo motors and the buttons and etc. And then we come to the sections. So first of all, uh, LCD.clear means clear the LCD screen and then set the cursor and print the message, insert a coin and then next line or scan to pay. And then until uh, either RFID cards or coin is detected, either one is detected, then the program will continue uh, run. And then next, the after delaying 10, uh, which is about uh, 0 0.001 uh, seconds, the LCD will clear the screen and then set cursor and print message select your item, uh, either item 1, 2, 3 or 4. And then uh, only when one of the button is pressed, the program will continue. Then only the program will continue. So uh, here is also just for printing message delivering. Since uh, one of the button is pressed, so the LCD will display uh, delivering. And then if button one is pressed, uh, so the button one is located at the top left uh, position. So uh, the carrier will need to move all the way up and then all the way left and then wait until the solo motor dispatch the item and then the carrier will move back to the right and then going back down so there are four uh, instructions over here so this is for the button 2 since button 2 is on the right hand side top right side so the carrier just need to move up and down so only two instructions so uh, same as uh, button 3 and 4 and then uh, LCD clear, clear the screen, and then LCD print item delivered. So this part is for the stepper motor programming, uh, stepper motor codes and programming parts. And then this is for the servo motor codes. So if you need to change anything uh, regarding the stepper motor or the servo motor, are these two parts uh, respectively. So this is the vending machine drawing dimension. By following this dimension, we develop a 3D model of IoT-enabled vending machine as the picture show. Conclusion Refer to project objective. Until this stage, the first two objectives are achieved, and just the analysis part, which is the third objective, yet to be achieved. Same goes to the project work scope. First four aspects are achieved, and just one last aspect, which is the analysis part, yet to be achieved. There are few suggestions and recommendations can be proposed to improve this project. First, instead of using LoRa network, LoRa One network can be used to establish IoT connection. Point-to-point -point LoRa networks needs a LoRa transmitter unit and a LoRa receiver unit to communicate with each other. However, LoRa One only requires a LoRa One transmitter unit at the vending machine, and through a gateway, signals can be sent to the application layer. Of course, this is applicable only when the vending machine is close enough to a LoRa 1 gateway. Second, security features such as alarm system and anti theft latch mechanism can be added into the vending machine to keep it more secure. Third, this project can be also be improved by adding artificial intelligence features such as customer profiling and compliance tracking. Last but not least, come to the project planning parts. So this is the gun chart for PSM1 and PSM2. That's all for my presentation and thank you everyone.